This meeting is being recorded for Cablecast and YouTube presentation by Area 58 Community Access Media. The video of this meeting is not to be considered an official public record. Right, we just had a, a, another run through of the building and I think that you folks are gonna be really pleased and really excited by what's happened out there and hope that you all come by on May 11 for the open house. Okay. All right. That's, uh, 10 a.m.? At 10 a.m., thank you. Right. With cookies. Okay, uh, I'm gonna give you the budget, hopefully for the last time. There's no longer a conger in the surplus. <laughs> Spass those out. Looks like it's getting smaller, too. The budget's getting smaller because I can't afford to print the, the paper. <laughs> Holy <laughs> smokes. Right. Okay. We project at this point in time that you don't have to go to the lottery to cash in your winnings. It's under six hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> Those of you who played a lot of you would understand that joke. So, um, on the box on the right, you'll see things that have not been completed. Um, Transaction windows came in a lot cheaper than we anticipated. Well, th that's not installed, that's just purchased. So, <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about that later. How about not talking during this meeting? <laughs> uh, final key in was not in the base contract. Obviously, if we shift that over, it helps everybody. Um, report writing table. Uh, the chief wants a report writing table. Um, and uh, solid doors on the in the corridor. I think I still think we should just change out some of the two metal doors to the two of the wood doors. Um, He's not here to defend himself, but um, I'm going to talk to him on Monday, and we can do that easily after the open house. Uh, I thought he was okay with that. What? He was, but he's, he, he's, he, he's all over the place. As we get closer to opening, he's all over the place. And that's because his mind's gone collating about all the things he has to do. It's not because he's not, uh, you know, appreciative of everything. He loves everything we're doing. He's just... What about this? What about that? What about this? What about that? You know, he forgets he forgets the value engineering phase of the project we had <laughs> after the bids came in. <laughs> after we had the estimate on DD. So, um, amnesia kicked in. But uh, we are, uh, we're going to make it, in my opinion. All right? And if we don't, uh, we'll talk about that at another date. Outstanding items and schedule. That's one. Pass those around. <coughs> okay. The electrical inspection has been completed. Home inspection is going to be this week. Oh. The, gen the building inspection will be done after the plumbing inspection. The fire alarm inspection, see below. Uh, the blacktop curb cut is outstanding. We're being told it's going to happen uh, any day, which means next week. Uh, we we have not given him a substantial completion date because we want to hold him to the fire on getting this stuff done. All right, uh, Keen will be Keen will be completed Wednesday of next week. I think he's coming back with the Keen. He's going to come back with the Keen for the exterior doors probably in the next day or two. All right, so the two different type two different type of locks in the building. The interiors are different than the exteriors. On the exterior, he actually has to provide a cylinder in a, in a, in a housing, right? in a uh, core. Well, we gave him a core, but he needs a cylinder to go with the core. All right? 
Uh, on the interior, I mean, I don't need to read this to you guys. Um, we we had to move the cell check reader cell check readers uh, per the state. Uh, we knew that was coming. Uh, they were on the drawings. And if you remember, we sent the drawings out before we went to bed. We got the answers for the drawings about two months ago, and they required us to move two of the cell readers, which are in the block. So there's going to be a conduit coming down from the ceiling in each of those rooms where the new where the new readers are going. All right. Horizon lines being patched to the patch panel this week. Protection 180T coming on ASAP to test signals. Uh, fire alarm will be inspected when ADT is complete. That goes back to getting the signal out. The evidence lock was installed. All this left to do with the evidence locks and it's a little painting. And I was gonna wait for the chief to come back so he could call his buddies over at the sheriff's department to come out and just paint that one area. All right. Uh, gun cabinet's been installed in the Sally port. I didn't show you that, but the last time you were here, there was a hole for it. Well, now there's a little gun cabinet. So when they, they don't, they don't, when they have a prisoner, before they take the prisoner out of the truck, they put their gun in the gun cabinet in case the prisoner overpowers them. They can't have a weapon. They're stuck. The two of them are going to have to dogfight it out until, <laughs> until, uh, until the next person, until the next person show. comes in. <laughs> right. Uh, microwaves delivered uh, needs to be installed by APC. He owns installation. And the keying schedule, Rob and the chief created, and <coughs> is being done as we speak. Any questions? We're real close. My biggest, my biggest goal is to get APC to get it and the weather hold out next week so we can get everything done and squirted for grass. Even if there's no grass, at least it'll look, it'll look finished. I hate to ask how many tubes of pick-proof caulking we got for 132 bucks. My guess is two. Um, <laughs> not a lot, and <laughs> the sheriff's department installed it, and I don't think it's going to pass, to be honest with you. So I think no. we're going to be doing another tube of it. But we'll see. We're going to try and get it to pass. The caulking has to be, it hardens to like cement. So you can't pick at it because prisons that want to commit suicide will, will use that little groove. So that it goes wherever there's a groove in the cell so that they can't tie something around it. They can't, they, they can't have the ability to tie anything around it and, and be able to yank their head off. So this pick proof for coughing that goes on. Some inspectors require it on the faucets. Some require it on just the joints. You know, we put it in. We'll see how it goes when we meet with the Department of Public. I expect that we're going to have a couple of gigs. By and large, it, it's it's there, which is teeny weeny. I wish I wish we had another half a million dollars and we could put all the security in with the general and all that stuff because. It's been a tremendous amount of work coordinating all these guys, purchasing everything. You know, none of it was really designed. Uh, some of the stuff is, you know, we've improvised. And, you know, Chief seems to be happy with everything he's seen so far. He's got, he can take, he can look at the cameras on his phone. He's got all the stuff that he wants to be able to do. Uh, the only thing he hasn't got, hasn't been figured out yet is how to get the cameras over here over to there but That's we're not doing we're not doing that with a wire he's gonna have to do that through the internet back and through the internet because we just don't have the money to run a tube I did install two conduit underneath the uh, the driveway even though no one asked us to although the chief asked how we would get the wire through so I had APC while they had the trench open throw in two conduit so in the future if you guys want to connect the two buildings with either power or, or or uh, uh, data, there is two conduits out there. I'll make sure we put a witness stake in, and or at least shoot where the ends of the con, uh, where the ends are. All right. So usually, what happens when we put these in twenty years later, I see them <laughs> digging it up because everyone that was on the committee's gone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm showing the answers. Uh, they should. 
but you know, I, 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 I'm holding my breath with him on paperwork. You know, he owes us a full set of ass belts and manuals on everything, mm -hmm. and we're going to hold him to it. But uh, you've seen the you've seen the guy doing the site work out here. So I mean, I, 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 I I'm not convinced he's <laughs> he's shooting every grade that he should be and every invert he should be. So, but we we'll we'll, we'll make sure that we try to get it from. Him. All right. Those are some of the shortcomings we have with a contractor this small. They just don't have that capability. Remember, he was <coughs> 400,000 lower than the next guy. He needed to get this job and get an A plus to get to the 4 million range or the 5 million range. Any other questions? I have a question. What about, um Police station signs. Do we have anything? Or he, I think he's doing a temporary going, sign for leverage now. Leverage the existing sign that's over the door mm -hmm. here and just put it down uh, on a stake by the road so that it's clear. By the road, up. okay, not up here. Uh, I think you're, you know, it's the only building you're going to come to. So. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> and, then, and then we're going to try and figure out since we're, it's taking a little while for Old Colony to even get a draft. Um, probably figure out something with a granite sign and see what we can't get to uh, maybe some donations and things and get something put in but but we'll work with the selectmen on so that there will be something once so they open there will be some sign. <coughs> that oh, sign be temporary be signage temporary sign will be he, he's talking about putting a couple of blue temporary aluminum signs on okay. green poles temporarily with okay. yeah right and then when we do put something in we do have we do have the uh, wiring down yeah. there to yes Right, because that's they put they they ran that I believe right. I don't remember. I think I think they did. I, 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 think, they did. I think you said I think, they. I think they did. So, they did but we'll we'll sort it out one way or another. Okay. And you know probably longer term. It's on Harry's has bill. You know, <laughs> longer term and depending on how much money we spend, you know that that big open wall is kind of calling. I do know something. this. It's tapped off of the light pole that's not that far from where the sign's going anyway. Right. Okay. So, all right. It is sort of dark out there. Yep. It's not as bright as a normal police station, but you know, if I recall, no one wanted it to be super bright. You know, just enough to have light, but not, a, you know, because you guys are sensitive to light pollution down here. And, and, I, and I think if you go here at night, you'll see that you, you know, it's enough light, but it's not, <clears throat> it's not uh, Shaw's. Right. I mean, those fixtures that they put in out there are really quite good. I mean, yeah. For that to give. Put light where it needs to be, and it's really nowhere else, which is which is nice. So, we, so there's a short-term plan and medium-term. Good. Add it to the list of things to do. Yes. Any other questions? And then just uh, just to uh, follow up on the uh, ball field access here. Um, this weekend, I moved. There was some fencing and a big pallet in the way. Um, or not, there was still access to get up there, but I've moved all that back and out of the way. Right. Um, so there's, well, pl I'll, there's I'll plenty lean, of access. I'm going to lean on Dave to get all that done yeah. before the Saturday. Right. But so there's plenty of access for them to to get up there, and then there is the plan. But we've been delayed by not such good weather uh, for weeks now to dealing with the little cliff that's out there from the from fourth that, and, and that's. Not to be confused with third cliff. Yes, fourth cliff. <laughs> and that's going to be remedied by the contractor. So, um, oh, I had something I was going to say as you were talking. Oh, that's what I miss. It's terrible. No, oh, and I'll I'll follow up to that email. Okay. And just let them know. Good, okay, thank you. And and if if for whatever reason weather doesn't cooperate for by this weekend, and you know we can we can take those yellow. You know, stanchions with the rope, and we can put it up over that. You know, stretch it along there to just encourage people to walk around. So. Oh. Uh, building plaque came in today, so it'll be. I'll have it installed um, in the lobby there, mm -hmm. somewhere. All right. Wasn't that expensive? It was. Uh, a <laughs> A tad shy, less than 
$599.91. It's aluminum. It's about this size. It looks good. <clears throat> so, Colleen, they spelled your name wrong. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I asked Colleen to look over the proof. Um, we didn't have enough money to fit the names of the contract of the OPM and the architect, so it's just the building committee. And, you know, thank you to the, to the residents. So uh, that's about all we could afford, believe it or not. <laughs> A couple letters too many would have pushed us over 600. It would have pushed us over. <laughs> I mean, this is as tight as it gets. So, all right, this is not how you do a capital project. In the future, we should have a little extra money. And I want to thank uh, Art for having the foresight to have the 75000 to put the road in. Because if we didn't have the 75000 we wouldn't have put the road in. Mm -hmm. You know, we got to shift the money from furniture to the road, and then they use Art's money to buy furniture, which was, which was perfect. And then I think it probably would have cost us a lot more to put it in a year later. Yeah. A lot more. Yeah. All right. You know, we got everyone here. It's it can be it's a cheaper thing when everyone's in the middle of doing it, and I'll just well, do that. It's versus just the just the contract documents for that driveway would have been about fifty grand. Right. I hate to say it. That's what the engineers charge. I mean, right. We were lucky we got him to do what he did. That's why we, you know. That's it. We'll see you guys in a couple of weeks. We'll see you Saturday the tenth, and then we'll. Uh, Hopefully, uh, the 11th. is it the 11th? The yes. 11th at 10. Oh, the 11th at 10. Just to be confused. Which happens to be my election day in my town. I'm supposed to hold a sign for somebody who's going to get crushed. <coughs> How do you tell them they're going to get crushed? I think you just did. <laughs> they don't get cable. <laughs> um, so we do have some business as well. <clears throat> uh, that's for you. Um, I gave you this before. It still hasn't oh, jeez. They got another one? It's the same one. It's never come back. We already sent it back. She says not. So you can just double check on it. Bree, oh, Bree's waiting for it. I think we sent <coughs> it back to the Mer the bonding company. Well, maybe you can find a copy and send it. To yeah. You. Okay. So we have some invoices. Um, <coughs> That the old one that was missing? One of them's yeah, the missing we, one. We need your signature. One of them's the missing one. Yep, this one. Eleven. Yes. Yep. That's fine. So we have P3's invoice for $21,310.63. It's number 22. Make a motion, we approve. And a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? I want you to know that that includes zero dollars and zero cents for P3, and that's just the exact bill for that evidence locker. <laughs> in the gun locker. We didn't even we didn't have enough money in the project for me to mock it up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so technically in March we approved number eleven here for yep. We asked that you, you were you were, we approved it and you were authorized to just submit it after we found it. Yes, um, <laughs> we we approved two hundred and three thousand dollars. It actually came last Friday afternoon for two hundred and seventy eight thousand. I figured, well, it's only a few days. I'll bring it back to the committee. So. It's seventy five thousand dollars more. So this is invoice number eleven for two hundred and seventy eight eight hundred and ninety two thousand eighty one cents. Yep. So gotcha. motion to approve this. Or to, no, am to amend our previous motion. Okay. A motion to approve uh, and amend our previous motion. And a second. second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Can I say that for a second? Yes. By the way, this does leave you with $261,000 from the general contractor. And as you're fully aware, there isn't $261,000 worth of work by any way, shape, or form left to do in that bill. It's probably maybe fifteen thousand dollars worth of work if we were lucky and probably thirty thousand out on the on the site maybe fifty so i told him i wasn't releasing any more money until he finished it's it's i don't have the right to do that he could fight me on it but i have to get his attention to get it, him to finish right 
Um, I just wanted to check one number on this, 12 for 200 I mean sorry oh, <laughs> yes 111,389.25 make a motion to approve and a second yes. All and in that favor. leaves you with 261,000 all in favor aye aye all right Opposed? good thank you um, minutes for I don't need to stay do I? no you can go we'll see you on the 11th huh? Thank you. We'll see you on the 11th. Well, um, I'll be here next week to make sure some things are being done. Rob and I are both tag team and alternating days to make sure things are getting done because he doesn't have staff yet. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, next meeting in June 5th? On June 5th? Um, or do we need to bump it out further than that? No, June 5th is fine. <clears throat> All we're going to be doing in the next two meetings is reducing retainage with things that get completed. Okay. Okay, so we have Although minutes. Although, if you appropriate another 35000 I think we ought to have a discussion of what it's for. You, you still have an outstanding claim from the contractor, which I told you I was going to fight. Uh, I expect that he'll at some point come back for that. But I think the 35 is going to the police. I think it is too. And I, I, I don't know what he's, 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 I think when he originally was looking for it, I think it was for the bulletproof windows and some other things we told him we thought we couldn't get. Unless he has more that I don't know about. I thought he got just about everything he asked for. So, but it's going to be this close. So I think we ought to have a powwow with him just to understand what the money is. Cause we may, you know, we may be. We, need, we made that enter into a profit sharing plan. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Thank All right. You. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thanks. Have a good night. I hope you liked it. Thank you. Okay, we have minutes for March 13th. Did everybody have a chance to review them? Any amendments or changes? Amendment. <laughs> Motion to accept the minutes as written. Motion to uh, accept them as written. And a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, minutes for April 3rd. Any amendments? Motion to accept the minutes as written. Motion to accept the minutes as written. Um, and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay. Um, pretty much that was it. Y'all had a chance to read that letter. It did go out today. Um, no, I didn't. Is there a new letter out today? No, it's the one I emailed you. Oh, okay. It was it was attached. Um, so that's all then. Uh, motion to adjourn. So moved. Good night. Thank you for watching. <laughs> <laughs>